Hello, and welcome to the weekly update. This is Jordan Sylvester, and I'm Shauna Skinner. And every week we come and we bring you some value. Value? Mostly value. Just have some fun. Valuable things that insights, are happening. Ideas. Insights, insights. Yeah, it's valuable insights. Like we talk about what's going on in the world, and we have our coffee. Cheers. Cheers. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to talk about a few things. I still don't really want to talk about the first I know. I, I knew he was going to get his back up about this, but Super Bowl is this Sunday. Tell us who you're voting for. Not voting for. What do you call it with Super Bowl? I don't care. Not <laughs> he really doesn't care. He like, really, really doesn't care. You know care. what? Patrick Mahomes, go ahead, get your next ring. It's fine. Um, if you disagree, that's also fine. I'm still going yeah. to... I'm looking forward to the draft. It's, I've been a Lions fan my whole life. You know, that's yeah. something worth looking forward to. Are you going? To the draft? Yeah, That'd to the actual... interesting thing I to know. It, I think it'd be cool, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen the movie Draft Day? Yes. It's a good movie. I did enjoy the movie. People... Everyone has an opinion on it. I, I like watching them. They're fun. I felt like I learned a lot about football by watching that movie, Draft but Day. How much did you know before you watched the movie? Not anything at all. Okay. In fact, after the movie was over, I was like... Maybe if I would have known what draft day meant, I would have appreciated the movie even more. There but now I know, and I, I still I enjoy watching that movie. So anyway, so Super Bowl, what tell us plans? what you're doing. Yeah. What are your plans? Are you, So you're really not watching it. Like you're no, not no, going no, to a party. I, you're not. I don't have any specific plans okay. in this moment. Okay. I'm sure I will watch the game. Yeah. I, yeah. Still the Super Bowl. I might be annoyed the whole time I watch it, but that's, that's You will okay. be. Life yeah. is. Tom will be too. Yeah. And he's yeah. still going to watch it? Probably not. Oh. <laughs> answer, I don't know. He's so is no. mad. He's so mad. But <laughs> but I think he'll he'll at least get snippets. And once once it's on, you can't you can't not watch, not watch it, right? That's so it. yeah. Watch it for the commercials, right? Yeah, exactly. And the halftime show. Who, do go. we know who Usher. the halftime? Oh, it's Usher. Usher. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So let us know who are you cheering for and what are your plans. We want to know. And then and, and then, then we move into the next we, set of plans. Can we crush them? Anyway, yes, the next set of plans. So next week, if you don't know, uh, there's midweek. It's around Wednesday of next <laughs> week. So for, for men specifically, you I know, should know this. you should know this. Should know uh, this. Uh, if you have a significant human, uh, it's called Valentine's Day. <laughs> Well, like yes. a person who's significant to you. Yeah, no, you're right. You. You're right. You you're know, right. Yeah, some people are other. married. Other people are friends. Yes. And, you know, people are friends. lonely on that day, I've heard. Anyway, so mm -hmm. next week is Valentine's Day. Correct. If you, the, we're here to help you guys. Like, seriously, if you don't have plans for Valentine's Day, you better get some. And if you well, don't have a gift, well, we're gonna tell be... me. I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I will uh, help you. As far as Valentine's Day goes, we're actually running a special contest. Uh, give me a call tomorrow. Uh, that would be February 8th between uh, eight, uh, 10 a.m.? 10, 10 to 5. 5. Yeah. The number will be 519-562-1717. Give me a call. Uh, you'll be entered into a draw for a Spago's gift card at Caesars Windsor to take that special person yeah and the reservations are already made what so time? you know seven seven, 7 p.m. p.m i figured that gives people time like to get home from work and whatever because it's a it's a work day yeah and then and then yeah it's caesar's what's Windsor. your favorite thing on valentine's day like chocolate flowers dishes done so here you know what's funny tom's birthday is the day after valentine's day okay so we actually never celebrate valentine's day because okay we always celebrate his birthday. So it's kind of all tied into one. And I, I don't really care. I'm not like a big Valentine's Day person. Um, so we always do something special the next day. Okay. Usually for Which him. Which is much cheaper but for everyone. Yes, exactly. The discounted and, chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> but he he does, he usually does something, a card or, he acknowledges, he acknowledges the day, which which makes it special. That you're his yes. Valentine? Yes, exactly. Still, after all these do years, right, Do your boys right, still think you're their Valentine? Um, yeah. No other girls yet? No, not, no. Okay. Don't even talk about that. Why would you bring that up? Why would he do that? He wants to get hurt. That's what's happening here. No, no. Uh, mine, no are just, mine are already older, so I don't get the ability to pretend anymore. Now I'm stressed out. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we're not going to talk about that yet. So I'll move from that I stress still... though, to RBC. So <laughs> RBC <laughs> okay, uh, let's economic talk about update. Banking, yeah, yes. banking. It's actually less Something stressful. Something positive. Well, it is. We, we're seeing that uh, things look like from the perspective of economists. We, we yeah. uh, were at an RBC update yesterday and we learned that the recession 
uh, and some of those things have come down. There's there's less expectation that it's there. There's still a good chance we're going to see some struggles over the next year. Yeah. But the outlook, the amount of time we're going to spend there, it, it seems like it's going to be lessened, which is an awesome thing. There's there's a greater chance that we'll have what they call a soft landing, yeah. which means that we'll see the economy continue to grow. We'll see interest rates kind of come back down to some level of normal, not probably where we were before, but at least right. manageable. And then we're going to see the overall economy continue to move. So that's good for everybody. It's not going to be as bad as we thought. Correct. And so th that's what they're predicting anyway. And I, I was, I thought that RBC did a great job of putting that on, and yeah. I, I learned a lot. It was. It Thanks, was Matt really McDonald, good. for the invite. Yeah. Thank you so much. Because yeah, it was great. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. Okay. Gone. But anyway, it was a great day <laughs> yesterday. And uh, we did learn quite a bit. And you know, like as far as like the market goes, if if you want to know how the economic status of our society is affecting, did you like how all society. I use those like big words? Yeah, because <laughs> I couldn't think of other words to say. Anyway, if you want to know how that's affecting the housing market, then give us a call. Yeah, um, have Jordan come out or or chat with you about your home, and we'll we'll see where things go. But overall a really positive outlook from yesterday it was not doom and gloom which well, i feel like we've been hearing it, it, again we're early february january stats against are starting to trend in a positive way for mm -hmm. the overall market from the number of sales is up the the price is starting to see a small increase Again, we're not seeing major changes to the overall market, but we're seeing positive changes. Yeah. So yeah, I think good. that we're still stable, which is yeah. a nice thing. But at the same time, we're actually seeing a positive outlook instead of the last couple of years where everything's been less negative, less and then negative. Now we're seeing the positive start to come out. Yeah. We're starting to see the climb. Yeah. I think for everyone who's been through the last few years, we yeah. had COVID, then we had the yeah. economic adjustments, yeah. and now we're kind of here. I just hope that for we're, everybody, we're finally into this nice, hopefully, rise out of... Yeah, I hope so. That, I also hope so. the cost of groceries comes down or levels out. Because I feed many boys. Many. Many. Right now, five. Five boys in my house Why to they feed. Why? Why does he do this to me? Okay, we're signing off because Hi, I'm guys. going to hurt him. Okay? <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. <laughs> See you later. Have a great week.